in this video, <laughs> you're gonna see a little bit of everything. I'm feeding the birds outside. I've tried out these old fashioned little spongy curlers and I've definitely given quite a bit of time to my new dry shampoo. All my hair is pretty straight right now. Let's see if this works again today. Let it sit for just a couple seconds. It feels a little damp. Then rub, 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 dub it in. Voila. <laughs> now let's see if we can make a hairdo out of this. Maybe turn it under a bit. Moosey's watching me. Puff it up in the crown. Get get my little waves here going. I think that that's a pretty good hack. What do you think? Magic, honestly. <laughs> and a little spray now on this. We'll keep it for a while. I love this stuff. And that's what it's all about with the hair, ladies. Well, that's enough of that. <laughs> I wanted to tell you that this morning, I had a great morning with Shannon. This was probably Shannon's last day to come down and help us before she gets ready. I think she leaves for college in about 10 days. And her birthday's coming up in a couple days. She's very busy right now. And we decided to attack a few things. And I know I said I'm not a purge girl. I've told you that before. I try to purge a little bit, but I'm not going to spend the rest of my life purging every single day. But I do need some purging in the kitchen. We've already done one day with a lot of pots and pans and things that went off to Goodwill. However, today we got down into a pantry in the bottom of my rolling cart and she pulled in a, a little bench for me to sit on, one of those low benches that I get stuck on. But since I had Shani there with me, she could pull me up. She sat on the floor and we did two bottom shells and I'm going to show you how organized I am. I'm so excited. Now this was where I keep things that I use quite a bit and it's my easy go to grab something when I don't really want to cook. And that's my um, wonderful chow mein things that I do in the micro. We have them with egg rolls. Moosey loves the Idaho instant mashed potatoes. He loves that with everything. And when I'm out, I always say, oh, I think I might need some or I'll get some more of those Idaho potatoes. We do in a pinch when we really need a little pick me up, maybe we'll do one of those cup of soups. I know it's sodium, but it fills you up for a moment. And a few other things like that. I keep my bisquick, my rice, and a few other things down there. And then all my mixes that you mix for your fajita mix, your taco mixes, your brown gravy mixes, all those things in the envelopes. And I do have a lot of it. Well, what happens to me is I never know how much I have down there because it's always been shoved in and such a wreck. And so I keep buying more. Well, Shannon and I got into that cabinet this morning and I think we found a dozen of the Idaho mashed potatoes and uh, probably about six or seven of the chow mains, but we eat those up right away and half a dozen cup of soups. So now I know I don't have to buy those. I'll be saving money. She did take home some of the desserts, the uh, ready-made apple crisps and um, little gimmicks that I had picked up here and there. Uh, how to make a chocolate cake in a cup with the hot fudge on top. She took a couple of those things. And I did throw out some things where the expiration dates were just gone and some jars of nuts and peanuts that had really gone south. So we did make some headway this morning. We also changed the sheets and I feel good today. 
Now I wanted to tell you that tomorrow, which is Friday, I keep wanting to turn this under a little bit. I haven't put the spray on it yet to hold it, but tomorrow is Friday and this video will go up tomorrow. And I am going over to Dubby's office after all tomorrow, but not until about two o'clock. And um, we are going to definitely do those pumpkin wine glasses together. office. We're going to use her little table in her office. She's afraid that some of the conference rooms might be taken up. And so we'll have a lunch in with this favorite sandwich shop. It's right near the hospital. I am bringing one home to Moosey and we're going to have a great day. So uh, you'll probably get that video maybe Sunday if I don't have to do a lot of editing. Remember these rubber tube curlers that you put roll your hair up and then twist them and see how they work. I'm going to try these a little bit later. I don't have that much hair left, so I couldn't find another package of these, but I'm going to try these. I'm just putting them in to see if it was enough. I still need a couple more for the back. I'm about to go outside now and fill up um, a lot of the bird feeders. The birds have disappeared for a day. When you don't feed them every other day, they fly the coop. So Moosey wants me to fill up some of the feeders. I know a lot of you have been complimenting me on my eyes, the fact that I have not screwed up and have gotten mascara all over up here, my lids and down here. And I have been trying very hard to follow instructions of what my granddaughter told me and some of the things you've told me. Now I do have some pigmentation here, little three little red dots that, um, are not, it's not makeup. So I'm gonna show you what I've been doing. First of all, and I'm gonna use my little mirror here, I apply some of my e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I'm gonna let it sit there for the, just a couple minutes just to let it set all over the lower eyelid and try and bring it up so I have some light up on the bone up there. Now I'm going to blot it. and look in my mirror and see if I can spread it a little more. Next step, <laughs> I'm getting pretty smart. After how long has it taken me? Almost four years to figure out how to do my mascara without getting blotches all over. So now I'm using my e.l.f. Just a pressed powder. I've had this for a long time because I, I don't use this on my face. And I am going to put the powder on the eyelid all the way up to the eyebrow and cover all of this to dry it out and also make sure that when I put mascara on, it's not gonna get up there. It's been working pretty great for a couple of weeks now and you've been noticing. So now I'm gonna use my little fluffy brush and I'm going to dip into my Maybelline, what is it? The um, Night Mini set. As you can see, it's all light brown. In the windshield wiper effect, I have hooded eyes, so I'm trying to get a crease here. Now, if I could find a nice, kind of a bright shine, I know I have my L'Oreal Slay Rose highlighter. Maybe I'll put a little bit of that there, see if that works, just on the bottom part of the lid. Does that give anything? By the way, Nancy, I am putting my carousel on my finger every day. I do have polish on the other nails, but I'm doing what you said and doing twice a day on my finger to try and get rid of this um, well, there's no fungus underneath, but it sure looks like it. So I'm treating my nail. And now it's time for the Milani Tubing Mascara. I've really loved this. Now you don't get that nice dark look as you do with the regular mascara on your eyelashes, but for the summer, I'm not looking for that. There are other times, for instance, if I was going out at night to a gala or to something special, I would try and put something darker on my eyelids. Now, if someone said, Nanny, get out your magnifying glass, that will help. 
I think I, I'll do that. I'm going to switch it around. Wow, that does help. Now I can see everything. I can see that I put some of my L'Oreal highlighter under my eyes. And I already have a little smear over here. You know, that's amazing because using the magnifying mirror, you do see what you're doing. Why haven't I done this before? I know many of you said, don't put mascara under the eyes. Now, if I was a perfectionist, I wouldn't have messed up at all. I don't think there's anything up on the lid. Eye makeup really does take a, a, a special talent, doesn't it? <laughs> so I'm going out and I'll catch you outside. Now, when I feed the birds, I'm feeding three or four different kinds of birds who eat different kinds of foods. But the seed is like tiny black rice, only smaller. And they eat it through the holes in, in the netting. And within five minutes, we'll probably have five or 10 little yellow lesser goldfinch, little tiny birds that eat this. Oh dear, I got some, I guess I will be having some after all. A, a few little seeds, just filled up two of these which I will replace with the empty ones out there. And these attract many birds. It attracts the, um, the blue jays, it attracts um, woodpeckers and mockingbirds and any wild birds, they just love this. And then I have the regular seed, which has the uh, black sunflower seeds in it and a few other things. And I put it in here because it's easy to fill up I have a couple of feeders. One of them we called Howard Johnson's. We call it Hojo's because it has an orange slate roof like all the old Howard Johnson's years and years ago when Moosey and I lived at Fort Knox, Kentucky, and we used to drive home for visits. It would take us two full days. So this goes into our Hojo's and I have to go out and bring it in and show you. You'll see why we call it filling up Hojo's. One other feeder out there, which is for the hummingbirds. And that we put this liquid in, a mixture of sugar and water, but I buy it. And red color, they love the red and the yellows. And I just fill that up. It's just a flat thing with little holes that look like little petals. Oh. Those curlers. I know when they when right after the war, yeah, they everything came out with chartreuse. <laughs> so I, I don't think so because this is rubber and they didn't have any rubber left over after the war. Mockingbirds and the blue jay loves it too, right? Oh yeah. Okay, I have one more I have to put over here, and then I'm going to take down my Howard Johnson's Hojo's. Oh. This is my Hojo's Howard Johnson's just like we used to stop on our trips home from Fort Knox. Well, I'm back inside again, and I've just taken these little spongy, whatever you call these things, you know, they bend and you roll up your hair, it's a nice tight curl, and then you do this and it's done. I'm gonna have to find more of these. Can you believe the curl in less than an hour? They were in for less than an hour and I didn't even put any setting gel or anything on them. I, I just wound my hair around it tightly. Now, one of my eyes, I got something in it out there and I rubbed it and I it started to water and all the makeup's off one eye, but I'll fix it. Now, what I wanted to do was to put my dry shampoo in and to, and to see if it'll work. I want to blow it up. So I'm going to go get my, my new dry shampoo made by Dove, and we're going to do another experiment. So this isn't bad for a, a quick curl. If you want to try and find these for $1.25 at Dollar Tree, honestly, easy peasy and cheap for an experiment. We'll see what happens when I run my fingers through it too. I don't like to brush or comb it out because you lose so much of the curl. I'm gonna try and repair the eye, but we'll see. I did. Ow. 
When I was feeding the birds out there, I discovered that I'm totally out of the um, Howard Johnson's mix, which is a big 10 pound bag of mixed sunflower seeds and um, regular seeds and some fruit and nuts. So I have to pick up another one of those. That will be eaten up and it only filled up half of the Hojo's restaurant. So uh, when Moosey is out there, I hear him calling, catching up with a lot of his uh, friends back from childhood and college. He has a couple of buddies still back there, plus his two brothers. And he usually makes a lot of his phone calls from out there, catching up with everybody. Which reminded me the other day, as I was thinking back, I have to get in touch with two or three of my childhood buddies that I was buddies with all through high school and college. And we even started off kindergarten together, Gail and Willie. And then in high school, we, we picked up Joanne and, and Joan and Grace and uh, one or two others. And I do keep in touch with Joan every so often. Joan lives in Houston. And Gail and Willie, Willie lives in South Carolina, or is it North Carolina? And Gail's still in New Jersey, and uh, so is Grace. Joanne has passed away. And I, I, every day I think about them, and I want to call them. Um, it's, it's tough when you think about people you loved for so many years and still love. And you, you should keep up with them by phone or or even texting. We used to send Christmas cards every year and write on them, sort of pick up. Every once in a while, we used to call and catch up on all the news and talk for an hour. And that hasn't happened recently. And I should do that. I know that. You know, as I'm putting my lipstick on here, my iced amethyst, so many of you over the past year or two, have asked me for the name of this. It's that Revlon Iced Amethyst. It, <clears throat> it's been a favorite of mine for quite a while now, and I think it was made quite a while ago. But it, it is only about $6. It's a Revlon product, number 625. I've said it so many times, I remember the number. But when you put it on, some of you said it doesn't look like when you wear it, when I put it on. Well, that's because <clears throat> it's a very dark lipstick and it doesn't have this glow, as you can see, until you put this on. And this is just something I like to do because I, I liked, uh, of course, if a shine highlighter. This is my L'Oreal Paris Slay Rose and <clears throat> it does have the lipstick on it right now, but I wipe it off and you'll see the natural color of it. And I put it on on top of the lipstick and that's what gives it the glow. So don't forget to put your highlighter on it and you'll get the same look uh, as this. I should have told you that. I think I tell you that all the time when you ask for the name of the lipstick. And I do tell you to put this on. I think fix the eye. Now I'm gonna go get the dry shampoo. Right now it's curly and we're probably gonna lose the curls when when I put this on. I even get the ends here too. Now you wait a few minutes and it's you have that damp feeling. Look, it's already blown up. But then you go in and you rub and then, voila, I have lost my curls, but I do have body. Do you see how it really gives you the illusion of thicker hair? Isn't this amazing? It's pretty good. And I don't think it was the curlers. I think it was definitely this dry shampoo. I hope you enjoy the uh, the bird feeding for those of you who do love the various kinds of birds that we have. Those of you back east and other places in the world might have some wonderful birds that you feed that we can't get. And as you know, Moosey is, just loves sitting out there watching his birds and, and listening to them. The garden is kind of a mess right now. I, Moosey told me, and um, this is a hot flash, he noticed a couple of little green things coming up out of my experimental planting the just a slice of tomato. I have two of those things going. I'm not gonna talk anymore because I'm gonna wait until they start sprouting, but I can't believe it. So that's the news. <laughs>
Thank you all so much for all your response and comments to the last video. I was burying my soul a bit, but as you know, as I do treasure the past wonderful family years, and I will always have those times in my heart, I, I don't throw away past memories. I will always keep them. I, I can look forward as much as I look back, but those memories are here to stay. And as you can see, I don't get down for very long, do I? Moosey and I have lots of things to do, lots of fun, and we're planning one of those red lobster dinners, hopefully next week if it's cool enough. Otherwise, we'll put it off for another week and keep our fingers crossed and hope that red lobster does not close. And we have some other things in mind. We're thinking that maybe we could ride down to the beach, not swim, but maybe just get out and smell the beachy air, something like that. So, thank you once again. You're all binging. In fact, YouTube tells me that there's um, a, one of the past videos about five months ago that's starting to trend, whatever that means. But it looks like everything's a little bit on the upswing again, and that's good. Thanks for your loyalty. I love you all and welcome to everybody new. Goodbye for now, my friends. Love you lots and God bless us all.